Hey guys, this video is a video demo of the University of Glasgow CCSE repository web system which I did for the project. Let's start with the database. I used SAMP as my PHP SQLite database tool and for this web application, I create 10 tables in total. So now, let's test the web application together. We go to the localhost file and find the main page. This is the new enlightening page which allows user to view research groups directly. If you are just a visitor, which means you are not either group member or University of Glasgow member, you will need to register at the very first time. You will not be able to register successfully if the two passwords you entered don't match. After you successfully registered, your information will be added into the database. Now, let's log in as the research group member with Professor Quinton's account. Then it will bring you to the main page with your username appears at the top right corner. Now, let's go to the CCSE research group repository page. As you can see, you can go back and forth easily with the menu bar. This is the group member Professor Quinton's profile page. Since the login user is Professor Quinton himself, so that we are able to edit the profile information, upload document, activity, and event. All section and subsection can be collapsed so that it provides user more space when browsing the page. This is the publication page, which shows user all paper with published status. You can see list of group member and all CCSE research areas at the CCSE homepage. Let's go to the Professor Quinton's profile page again and edit information. Now, let's upload the document and also upload an activity. After the data is uploaded successfully, it will be added to the database. You can also upload document, activity, and event at the research area page. And as you can see, everything still can collapse. The research area page contains activity and events. Let's upload an event from here. This web system also contains community to allow users to comment on research areas and papers they are interested with. Let's try to upload comments on both sides. Then, your comment will show on the community page. Let's log on now. Oh, by the way, when you view papers, you can download the paper directly by clicking the paper.
and now we are logged out, the profile page is view only. Let's log in with Professor Quinton's account again. The database information has been added, so the last update date is the 15th of September. Let's go to Mr. Peter Donaldson's profile page. Since the login user is not Peter Donaldson, so that we cannot edit his page. Let's go to a PhD student Jake Parkinson's profile page. Add any page and anywhere of the page when you see a member's name is under a herf link, you can click on it and it will bring you to the member's profile page. Let's view another part-time PhD student's profile page, Elizabeth Klo. Her page is with less information, but user will still have an idea of how her profile page will go. Let's log out and log in with the U of G student account. Let's go to view each research area page with a student account. So since it's a student login, so student cannot edit or upload anything except for community to upload comments. All the research areas information is up to date with activities and events. Thanks for watching the video demo. Hope you liked it. Bye.